Now, you're going to pick up this third hoop with your feet. It's going to pop it there. You're like that. And you can pop your feet right in there. And look at that. Right there. So there's a few things I'm going to show you with three here. Okay? Let's try it again. You're picking up the hoop with your feet. Pop. Lift your leg up. Lift your leg up. Now you may want to do that quicker. Okay? Show you how to do it quicker. Pick up. Instead of going one, two, just do it one shot by jumping up and then scooping these hoops. And grabbing the feet. Ready? There we go. See? One more time. So you just kind of. There you go. So from here, do some turning. Hold your design out so people can see it. I'm just going to dance like this. Bring the, bring the hoops back. You can bring your body kind of curve that back a bit. You turn. Let people see the design that you just did. Okay? Now remember I showed you with two? Take the right foot up. Now, this is important. This center hoop must always stay in the legs when you're doing this part. Usually it's the center part. Okay? Keep it there in the legs. Take this hoop out of there, scoop it, bring it over just like I was showing you on number two, two hoops. Remember, pull and push. Pull and push. As soon as it comes down to there, catch it right here in the foot, lift up the foot, voila. You're back to there. Okay? One more time. Pull the right hoop out, bring it over through your body, pull and push. It catches right there in the left foot. Just lift the left foot up. Don't ever take your feet out of the center hoop. Okay? Keep it there. Matter of fact, look at it. It's up. Okay? Let's try the left foot out. Take that out of there. The left hoop is in Pull, push down. Just catch on the right foot. Just lift the right foot up a bit. There you go. One more time. Okay? Pull, push down, lift up the foot, and you're back there. So there we go. And you're back to where you started. Now, just go a little faster. Practice will make it perfect. Make it look smooth and quicker. Okay? That's the important part here. Just making sure you're practicing. After you learn these moves, Stop the video or DVD and just start practicing and pause the video and learn and practice that move till you get it and then go on to the next move. Okay? So that's the important part. Put a little spin in there. Go the other way. Alright. Now we're gonna go to making a world. That's what I want to show, a ball. Okay? So we bring the hoops together like that, okay? So I come a little closer to show you. It's like I showed you the two, okay? Now, through the hole right there, you put your body through there, and I would say, pop them, you know, you can pull these together out and you can make them, make, you know, go back to where you were and do this again, oops. And go like that again, and then make your world. As I was saying, look, if you look around the whole direction of me, you can see that it's a ball. Now, I'm coming a little closer. Look at this very carefully. In front of it, look, at, look where the hoops intersect with each other. On both sides, there's the X's right here. You put your hands right there, just grab them, pull them down. So as you're pulling them down, take one arm up, still hold the other, and bring it up, and then you have the world right there. And spin with it. Okay? So that's one way of making that ball, the world, come down. I was demonstrating earlier. What you could do also is um, when you pick up the hoops here, 
you can go like this, put one loop in there, and put the other right here. Okay? And then you can spin. Now, you can put the you can put the hoop down, throw it over your body, just kind of come a little closer. Put it over your body, and then just kind of just like you're doing those ones, okay? Kind of like that. But you have this right here, so you throw it over your head, and then you pull down, okay? So there's those methods right there, okay? You can have the hoop just like here, but instead of throwing over, come back here, you bring it behind your back, and you kick your foot back, and you catch it right in there. And when you're back here, you'll split it, right like that, okay? So then you're back to here. And then you can go like that. So there's that, there's those kind of styles and methods right there, okay? Now I wanted to show you three, three methods of from the interlock to the wingspan, okay, with the three, okay? So there's one where you have to use the interlock. I show you the interlock through the two. So I'm right here, okay? So you have the two right here, or the three right here. One in the center and two on the outside. Remember the interlock, the thumb, right here. Rotate those back. Put that center one on your head, over your head and bring your hands around, okay? So, get that again. All right, put that behind your head. And when you got these guys, watch, come closer. Rotate them back. All right, from here, then you just go, voila. Okay, there's the wingspan. First beginning of it. All right. Let's try that again, okay? One more time. All right, so we rotate those up. Put that on your head. If you remember the interlock, thumb comes right here. Thumb, pull these over and push those forward. Remember, I showed you interlock with two. Voila. Now, interlocking isn't always easy, but it's important because as you start going, start adding more hoops onto you, five, seven, nine, eleven, you gotta start interlocking those hoops. So it's important you practice interlocking. Now, here's an important one. Now, here. Think as if you got an archer's bow, you're holding right here. You take this and you just kind of whack it through, okay? Put it on your shoulder, over your head, not like not right here like this. But put it over your head so it, inter it crosses from your neck down to your kind of your waist area around there. Then you take these two, kind of push one through. So you have two of them interceding interced in right here, crossing right here. Take this one, put it over your head, bring your arms up through it, and you have them. Grab the bottoms right here. And from here, pull and lift, or lift and pull first, okay? If you pull and then lift, <laughs> it's gonna catch your head. Like I said, if you pull and then lift, catches your neck, sorry. So, it's right here, you have it. Lift and pull, okay? Try that one one more time. Okay, so the archer's bow, swap through, over the neck, push one, push the other one through, it's right there, Inter put that over, so right there, lift your arms up, grab the bottoms, and lift and pull. All right, one in one hand and two in each hand. Put these together like that, okay? All right, see how I did that? Okay, they're right down like this. Throw them over your head. Now, look very carefully. There's the X. Now, there's one underneath, this one right there, and this one on top. Now, the interesting thing about this one is you just move the top one over and lift the arm up. And then you're like the other one. Lift and pull. 
It's the quicker and e it's the quickest and easiest, and I wouldn't, I wouldn't know quick easiest, but it's the quickest method out of the three. Because you're not interlocking, you're just, you're just throwing over, move the arm real quick, and boom. There you go. So you got that move right there. So you got the three, those are the three methods that you will do to get the wingspan, the wingspan from here or some other methods, okay? Put your hand up here, take a step back, you can see, lift and spin. Okay? Even from the wingspan. Have your hands right here. Now lift, bring your hands together. Now watch this, as you bring them together, let that center one just drop from your head down. So then you have this. Okay? Let's try it again. You want to bring that back. I'll show you in a second. Okay? Just lift. Bring your arms together. Let that center one drop. Okay? So then you have this. You have these three, three corners kind of way. There, three circles. Okay? Then you can lift. And you can turn. Okay? Spin. Now, some people have taken from this method, they'll put it right here, and they'll kind of flap. Just kind of moving the wrists. Moving it up and down, kind of flapping their wings. Okay? So there's flapping the wings there. Now, we want to bring it back. Now, watch this. You just lift it up. When you lift it up, let it drop. That center one, back over your head, and just you try it again on this angle. Okay, let that center one drop, or that yeah, and you just you're back to here where you started. Okay. All right, so there's your methods. Your 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 methods you can work with right now with three hoops. You can make your world. Okay. You come to the world, you just put one over your shoulder, and then you have a world, and you can pull one arm out, and then kind of grab it, pull it up, and you can dance with that one, okay? Or spin that up.